How's it going guys? Welcome into my laundry room and to today's quick update video. It's been 10 days since we put these eggs in the incubator so that means that it is time for us to candle them and see which ones are good and which ones are bad. So because I'm trying to minimize the amount of time that the eggs are out of the incubator, I'm just going to set them right here on this chest freezer and we can candle them there. This is the egg candler that I got. It is a little giant. Basically this is just an LED flashlight. Um, I thought it was something special, but I really don't think it is, so I think any kind of flashlight would actually work. Alright guys, so we got the flashlight set up and ready to go, and um, the only thing that's left to do is pull the eggs out of the incubator and just to do it. Now, the only thing that I should mention is that it's been suggested to me that when I do this, I should do it in a dark room. And that's just going to make it a lot easier to tell which are good and which are bad. Now, how do we tell what's good and what's bad? Well, the way it was explained to me is the bad ones or the unfertile eggs, when you put the, the uh, flashlight on them, they just light up like a light bulb. And the fertile eggs, when you put a flashlight on them, are kind of like dark and dim. So I have not actually done any more research than that. Uh, I haven't watched any videos on it, so I don't actually know what it's supposed to look like. So hopefully it's really obvious and when we do it we'll know which ones are good and which ones are bad. To me, that one, that one's pretty dark. I'm saying that is a fertile egg. As opposed to that one is really bright, and I'm pretty sure that is an unfertile egg. Just to illustrate again, that one, you can tell there's nothing in there. Definitely unfertile. Again, that's lighting up like a Christmas tree. Now this one, on the other hand, you guys can see it's much darker on the top. So I know this is like scary movie lighting here, but I just candled an egg and actually I could actually see the chick moving inside. I'm going to see if I can show you. I don't know. Can you guys see that? I can see it moving. That's pretty crazy. Alright, so I've got all the dud eggs out of the incubator now and the good eggs are back in there warming back up. So, let's check out our dud eggs and see how many we lost. Alright guys, well we lost 24 eggs so that gives us about a 65% success rate. In the world of school that would not be very good, but in the world of hatching eggs, I mean, honestly, I don't know, is that good? That's good enough for me. Alright guys, well that's it for this quick little update video. I will see you back at the incubator in about 8 days where we need to raise our humidity and get these eggs ready to hatch. Thanks for checking out the video today guys and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Mm -hmm.